Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is 11.26 a.m., and since we've got a nice day here, we're all the way up to a balmy 47 degrees, I've decided to take off. Five, six, Alex isn't here anyways. Check out these trees. Doing a little weekly update here. They're looking awesome. And uh, it's a relatively nice day. It's supposed to clear out even more as time goes on. A little bit of Bon Jovi going on today. It's been a really easy morning. Been at the office today. Hasn't hasn't really done much. I hasn't really done much, guys. And I expect that trend to continue throughout the afternoon hours. Colt, when you're watching this, you are either in the state of Florida, home already, or about to leave. I have no idea on your status on my vlogs, if you've watched any in the past three months, or if you're watching them bibli biblically. Um, as for me, I can't stand to get behind on somebody, anybody, because then it just takes weeks to catch up on one person when they're making 5, 10, with me recently, 15 minute videos a day. It takes forever to get cut up. Anyways, though, if you're already there, then I'm glad you haven't had a safe trip. If you're on your way soon, have a safe trip. And if you're already home, I hope you had a good time. So that kind of covers all three possible outcomes, I guess. Oh, freaking rates it is. Check it out, boys. Found an Apple sticker. Things are looking better coming through here. I haven't been through here in a while. This is the Western Reserve Academy Prick School. And uh, we got some trees starting to bud up here. Uh, and, uh, ah, it's the focus, bitch! Oh, yeah, taking a look at this out in the sun looks really nice, really brought out the metallic finish in the paint. The flip's never going to get it, but it looks really, really good. I would say that every time I put new wax, spring, fall, I usually do, I do one big one in the spring, kind of a touch-up in the summer, and then a big one in the fall. And uh, the spring one always looks the best because it gets bad over winter. Very happy with that though. And with this, it's up to about 50 now and I'm looking around and I'm glad to see that the grass has grown. But it seems like today, I looked out yesterday and I thought, hey, that doesn't need to be done, that's not good, it stopped growing. Well now it has, definitely mine can go a couple more days. I'll probably do theirs by the middle of the week. So there's plus 35, another 35 over there in a couple days. and. And we'll get on this one later this week too. Remember how that snowplow totally tore up my yard over here? They went in the grass here with the tire and went all the way, all the way down the entire length of my yard and just peeled all the sod directly off. And most of the sod was kind of wrapped up in a ball down here. Well, in February or March or January, sometime a long time ago, I came out and I untangled the sod and I started laying it back down. And look at that, it all took you can still see where it is. I'm going to need to get some seed and put that like around here and stuff. But it's not bad. I'm glad that it all took and it's all growing. And unless you come right up next to it, you can't really tell what happened. But that'll be my spring project. I'll have it looking great by midsummer. Speaking of yard mowing, this is an awesome time of year because my income just absolutely skyrockets with all the work I start doing. You know, four yards a week at $35 a piece. That, that's, that starts to turn into something nice. So that means as money starts coming in, I'm gonna order that navigation screen for the car, the 16 by nine one. When I first looked those up on eBay, two, three, four months ago, they were like six to $800 for a good clean one in working condition for just the display. And I found them now for under 500 in some cases because they used them in the seven series, the E38 and the E39s. Uh, post 9 2001 it's a really easy install I've taken that one out before it's just a bunch of screws and two wires cable and or data and power and then the new one will slide right in so we're gonna do that first and then I'm gonna upgrade the navigation computer in the trunk that'll be another six to eight hundred and I haven't take well, I have taken that out but I haven't taken out there's something in there called a thimble that has to come out too I think or timble something weird like that so we'll do those installs and that'll be on the E39 source channel later. Probably do the screen first in about a month or two at the most. All right guys, so freaking uh, somebody got dickered up here, dickered big Just time. ruining this guy's day. Just ruined. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, so we're going 25-0. Probably somebody from the camp. No, it doesn't appear that way. Except they don't know myself, uh, huh? So. Uh, I got dicked. Otherwise, it's a beautiful day. That's an animal, animal. It's an elderly gentleman. Now, should I floor on it? Does Taylor would say? Yeah, floor on it, Ryan! Yeah! Ah! Well, this is nice. It's up to 66 degrees, and there's still not a cloud in the sky. We got the SoCal weather going on today. And somebody asked a couple days ago, yeah, 
it's still here after all the rain. I'm gonna have to get gas out here or something to clean up, clean that up, moron. So um, it's really surprising, actually. I haven't made a video on the E39 Source channel in like two or three weeks now, and I have gotten several from different users, of course, a lot of different um, channel comments on that channel. When are you gonna make another video? When's the next video coming up? Uh, I guess that's kind of taken off. I really like doing it, and I'm glad people have found it and are watching it, but. I think I was right in saying there's a lot of people with those cars that search YouTube and there's not a lot of videos about them. People just, they really want one, they go, they find the, any videos they are, there are on them, and then buy one and nobody's taken the initiative to start a channel of doing maintenance and just updates and stuff like that with the car. So it's fortunate to, uh, to have one of those and a lot of great people have gotten on and gotten on board and made videos of their cars and hopefully we can keep that up. So I think I'll just pull it out and we'll do a little spring update video about all the work I did yesterday and some things in the future and whatnot. And I also need to review that um, battery pack that I got for review before I left. I told Nutrient I would do it the week I got back or so. Well, that was last week and it was just busier as frig and it flew by. So today's Monday, new week. It's a good week. I should jump on that today, but Kenan has my tripod, so I'm gonna have to go get that from him tonight. Speaking of tonight, I've got 159,992 miles on the M5N, a text message right there. So tonight, I think we'll go out and just go for a little cruise around town, which, speaking of which, I was downtown earlier today and I saw this. Check it out. I've seen this license plate on a car before. I talked to the gentleman. He's about 30 years old, 35 years old maybe. Now this is a Rolls Royce, I want to say Ghost, downtown. The license plate is LASIK, like the eye surgery, L-A-S-I-K, I think. I think it's a K. And before it was on a silver Bentley Continental GT. It was beautiful. It had really nice wheels on it. Really nice guy, and now it looks like he's upgraded to a Rolls Royce Ghost. So I was—I didn't have my flip on me. I, I thought, "Oh, this is cool. I'll film it." Well, I didn't have it. I left it on the couch in my office in there. So I did get that picture of it. I know the flip won't focus on it, but you know what a ghost looks like. So that was cool to see downtown, and hopefully we'll see it more. One six zero zero eight. Filmed it for the E39 Source channel. I'm going to get a video up there tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. It's like 800 megs. The vlog will be a gig and a half. Both of them won't make it up overnight because I can't upload simultaneously to two channels. So the vlog goes up first and hopefully I'll be able to do the E39 Source video tomorrow while I'm at school or when I get home or something like that. I do not know yet. But it made it and uh, there aren't any problems as of now. Uh, I did mention the tire issue in the E39 Source video so check into that if you're interested. Uh, over the past couple days I haven't been able to keep over 20 ish pounds of air in this rear tire. See I've got a compressor back here. It kept coming on and I would check it and it was down like two pounds. So I put two pounds on it. And then it would come on and say tire defect again. So I figured it's the massive fluctuation and temperature that we've been having. You know it's 80 degrees one day and then overnight it gets down to 34 or something crazy. So figured it was that. Apparently not. I looked at the rear wheel on the inside lip along the bead. There's a little ding in the wheel actually. So I'm going to take it in Saturday have them fix that and then we should be good. Then we should be good? We should be good. So it's 11 o'clock, I'm just gonna wrap this up right now. Um, I'm gonna go in and study for two tests tomorrow. The quarter ends, this will be third quarter done on Thursday of this week. We have Friday off, as I mentioned yesterday, uh, which is really good. So 75% done with senior year, actually more than that because seniors get out two weeks early and we don't have to take exams on full year classes. Unfortunately, I only have one of those, which is ecology. Uh, so I shouldn't be able to get out of that final, but I will have a final in, let's see, first period graphics, no final. Contemporary math, easy, yeah, I have one there. Sci-fi, English, not too difficult, I'll have one there. Lunch, study hall, no. Ecology, no. And um, engineering drawing, no, I don't think. It could be some minor project or something we have to do at the end of the year. But that'll be awesome. Only, what, two finals, two or three? So it'll make a nice uh, end of May here in a few months, a couple weeks at this point. It's a beautiful clear night. You can see the moon up there, lots of stars. Nice thing about clear nights is they're clear and you can see stars. The bad thing is you'll lose a lot of heat. Tonight we're going down to like 33 to 34 degrees, so hopefully it doesn't get frosted or anything too bad. Tomorrow's a 30% chance of rain early afternoon. So I'm gonna take the car in in the morning. If I check the weather and it looks like it's gonna rain, I have five, six off, I can bring it back and get a ride in with that. So that's it, wrapping up today. It was a really nice day here. Got some videos done, a lot of work today and uh, 160,000 miles, that is a lot of miles for a car. And uh, 
you know, aside from the tire, there really aren't any problems with the car right now, aside from that carbon buildup that comes on every couple of days, but there's no way to fix that and it doesn't harm anything. So it's just a minor annoyance, but I did talk about some upgrades I plan to do that you already know about on that video for the E39 source channel. So check into that tomorrow and I'll speak to you then on Tuesday already. Good night guys.